be very careful dating this man. If he hasn't gone to therapy to fix those mother wounds, he will cheat on you with a woman just like his mother. The men that sit here and run from serious, uncomfortable conversations because you feel like you just ain't ready for that part because emotionally you're still stuck at the age of 15. That's how much money Stacey Blackman pled guilty while giving most of that money to influencers on the social media app. Don't ever call me sexy like on the first DM. Top of it. That's why I'm oh, saying. She's Chinese? She's bad. He got him on another one. Hey guys, welcome back to More Than Life. Now, before I get into this video, I ask that you like, comment, subscribe. Also, smash that notification bell just to be sure you get on my videos as soon as I release them. Let's get right into this. I'm going to give you guys a little game. This is just something that I've been doing and I noticed I've been doing this and it's great. So usually when I go out on a date, especially if the first date, if I go out on a date with a guy, uh, so like after dinner, I start telling him, oh, is there a drugstore around here? I really need to get something. And of course he pulls out his phone and he looks and he tells me, oh yeah, there's a, there's a Walgreens around the corner or there's a CVS down the street or vitamins, whatever. And of course, if the guy is the gentleman, he's going to offer to pay for it. They're telling you now. They tell me, actually, they've been telling it for about six or seven years. They tell all their stories for some dollars. And I believe her too, because that's something that's simple. On a first date, a guy's thinking, I'm going to get some. If I give her a little 40 $50, she said, what I've learned or something like that, let me see what it says here. Being a serial dater this summer was the best decision I ever made. So she's just racking up the charges on guys. And it's wild because if a woman did that to me, say I'm single, a woman does that to me, I'm not paying for it. She cannot date me again if she, if she wants to. But why? Because I know she's trying to set me up to so-called be a provider, be that provider guy. I'm going to say, what's your whole point of having me pay this for you? I was saying to her, are you trying to set me up to be a provider guy? Are you doing this to test me to see I'm going to be a provider? Because I'm not. Ladies, if his mama is toxic, and when I say toxic, I mean, when he was a little boy, he witnessed his mama get disrespected time and time again by his daddy and other men, or she either neglected him or she beat and emasculated him. Or she stood around and did nothing when he got molested and or beaten by someone in the family. She didn't protect him. Or he watched his mama manipulate and steal money and, and, and run the streets and neglect him. If his mother was any of the above, let me tell you something, ladies. Be very careful dating this man. If he hasn't gone to therapy to fix those mother wounds, he will cheat on you with a woman just like his mother. You have to understand that his mother's piss poor behavior has been normalized in his childhood and he will constantly gravitate towards women just like his mother. You can give him the world, he will still cheat and downgrade with a woman like his mama. You see the conviction? Like she knows it all. Listen, not every situation will be like how you say. That happens to some guys and they end up being the opposite of that. Why is that? Because when you get traumatized that much, you're going to get some help, most likely. You end up psychotic, but still, who are you to say every guy that goes to something like that is going to be the worst guy? Because there's tons of guys that don't have that issue. Listen, and you're talking and screaming like you know it all, but you don't. Except you simply don't know every man who's been through trauma. So to sit here and get on the internet and do that is just wrong. Don't you even think about scrolling. Let me tell you something. Y'all sat here and lied to me time after time after time. Y'all know I'm a big homebody. But what did y'all say? Ingy, you got to get out more for your husband to find you. You got to make yourself seen. Make yourself noticed. Honey, last time I checked, I tried it. And guess what I found? Only thing I found out here was 99 problems. I'm going to tell you where one of them really came in. It's really like 15 and 1. It was the one when I sat there and found out that it's a whole lot of unstable, emotionally unstable creatures out here. Mainly the male species. The ones that are very indecisive. 
The men that sit here and run from serious, uncomfortable conversations because you feel like you just ain't ready for that part because emotionally you're still stuck at the age of 15 or the fact that this man out here thinking that somebody's going to sit here and chase you. I'm not going to do it, little mama. I don't know what kind of flavor your lip gloss is, but let me know so I can get it back on your lips because you got to be popping. I don't know what it is y'all sit here and think. Oh, or the fact that I've sat here and seen how y'all sit here and treat some of the most amazing people and you got to sit here and actually try to fight your feelings because you don't know how to handle it or you just don't want to be man enough to have a serious conversation baby it's 99 problems at this point i'd rather have COVID again than rather even deal with the outside world hey don't hate the player hate the game baby don't worry about dating for me i'm good but um uh, i'm still outside though i gotta take a deep breath why i'm getting tired sick and tired of women talking about the 10% of guys, like it's every guy. The guy's being a little boy because he doesn't have to grow up. Because all he needs to do is be six foot tall. A lot of times, it's not even the money that's the issue. Right? The women don't care about that. Because they'll tell you themselves, oh, you can lie to me. I would rather be lied to. Don't you see that? They say, they say that all the time. But they say it. So it's not about the money. All you need to have is a little bit of change. Enough to make sure you keep yourself well. Enough to make sure you can have a home. Enough to make sure you can at least have an apartment, car. You're good. No need for the extras. Why? Because they don't respect it. No matter how much a woman says she respects a man that's making more money, they don't care about that. All they care about, you're talking to drawers off, you're getting there. But the silly fact that all of you are chasing the same men, maybe 6% of men, the majority of you, and he continues to be a little boy. Of course he does. Why does he have to change? He checked off all his boxes already. Prosecutors say a North Texas woman stole more than a million dollars and spent most of it on TikTok into 35 years in prison. Prosecutors say she also used stolen funds on other lavish expenses. TikTok coins and then gave those TikTok coins to influencers in hopes of growing a following of her own. $1.2 million. That's how much money Stacy Blackman pled guilty to stealing from a former employer while giving most of that money to influencers on the social media app. TikTok. A trusted individual. She was deceptive upon deceptive upon deceptive. As an office manager for a high-end home building company in Southlake, in 2019, she began using a bank account of a senior partner who unexpectedly passed away. Did he have any family members who were wondering where this money might have been, or did they just not know there was any money? So the money was stuck in probate. Stacy Blackman actually befriended the heir and was helping her figure out where all he had accounts and all of this. And so she was literally walking through this with the person she was victimizing. Blackman used a company credit card to send nearly $900,000 through PayPal to TikTok. Bingo. And she was using that bank account that had his life savings in it to pay that credit card. So why TikTok? Well, prosecutors say Blackman was using the money to tip social media influencers in hopes of building her own following. Blackman also purchased a suite for Dallas Mavericks games, lavish trips, and more. She didn't buy any assets. She didn't put the money anywhere and had nothing to offer to pay back comparable to the amount that she stole. She went ahead and stole another $400,000 from the business as well. Blackman's employer ultimately caught on to the theft, which led the company down a rabbit hole, realizing theft had been going on for several years, was indicted in 2022. She is extremely intelligent. She only ever graduated from high school, but that is no measure of how intelligent you are or how good you are at figuring out how to hide money. He is very good at that. Blackman is sentenced to 35 years in prison. Now, the lady said she was wise. No, she wasn't, because if she, if she was wise, she wouldn't have gotten caught. How do you get to news say she's wise, she got caught? But I'll tell you this, people chasing, you know, the clout, get popular, TikTok, some people even, even do it for YouTube, it's ridiculous. But to stoop that low, you thought you was going to get away? Like, are you thinking? What are you thinking? Nobody gets away with that stuff. Paper trail. There, you left the paper trail. If there was a way you can get away to where there was no paper trail, I would say, yeah, okay. But you're dealing with banks 
Everything is there for a receipt. You did it with the bank. They have a receipt for the day you did it. You're going to get caught. I don't know what she was thinking, but now she's in jail for a very long time. She's, she's most likely going to die in jail. What post do you hate men take? Don't ever call me sexy, like on the first DM. So we can't give you a compliment. That's why I'm oh, saying. Don't you agree, Mr. Feather? Word. Women thing. like wow. you. That's a horrible That's a horrible That's uh, You're automatically telling me how you, how you see me. This is not a fairy tale. Body, this, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, don't if you don't call me beautiful or pretty or hey mm -hmm. Taylor or Kitty or just yeah. normal stuff, and you're like, what's up, sexy? No, that's total cap. Reason why, if she likes the guy, he can say whatever he wants. As soon as he speaks, she's gonna look at him, and she's gonna start melting like butter. That's number one. Number two, she's going to be happy because not many guys are talking to women nowadays. You got simps going in your DMs. But once a guy that's legit goes there and talks to her and says sexy, say for LeBron James right now, one of her DMs, and said, what's up, sexy? Hey, LeBron. Her drawers going to fire off. She's going to say, hey, LeBron, where your drawers go? I seen a pair of underwear fly to the Los Angeles Stadium. Where did they go? Stop it. It's cap. The things they'll do for the men they want. Oh, she's Chinese? She's bad. He got him one. He got him one. Another one. And this is a password. And she's thick, too. She's thick and gorgeous. Man. I love this shit. I reacted today to a woman that was in China. Wasn't Xiong Ye. Which means left over women. A woman that was letting guys know. Let the whole audience know. I'm saying date me. Because she was approaching it. She was approaching Shang Ye, but what did she show? She showed she wanted she wanted someone to talk to her, right? She showed aggression, and the reason why I liked what she did because when you're getting older and you're approaching Shang Ye, because she was she probably was like 25, going on 26. Shang Ye is 27, right? But when you're approaching that age, you have to act like it. What's going on nowadays, and this is the reason why guys are leaving. Is because most modern women, they're 27, they act like they have another 30 years left. And guys are getting tired of it. I don't need a man. So they'll keep themselves on ice. But while they're not on ice, give it up to everybody. The most ridiculous thing. I say at least the Chinese woman will reserve themselves a little bit more. I can tell. I can tell from when I saw a Shung Yu, I reacted to a, um, a video about it. I can tell the woman weren't just giving it away to everybody. It's a lot different. What's going on in America, they give it away. This one, this one, that one, rack up the bodies. I can tell that's a little different. So it's a little different when you leave, but still, that's exactly why guys are leaving. Because imagine a guy goes into the land of the Sheng Ye, they're going to be looking at you. Even the woman that are Sheng Ye will be. And it may work in your favor. Why? Because they're going to see you and you, you look as gold to them because they, they, they're desperate, they're needy. If you want to avoid women that are like that, I understand. But they may cater to you. Who knows? But most likely not. I can tell by the uh, guys are going out there. Like this guy right here. He got a woman. But guess what she wasn't? She wasn't a Shang Yu woman. She showed she's willing, able, and ready. But what do we mean by willing, able? That she was open. Just like the woman I reacted to earlier. I want something feminine and delicate. And willing to speak and willing to talk. And men want to approach women that are going to receive them well. And I get it. Guys need to go where they receive. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because they realize it's definitely more to life than doing anything that's not that. <laughs>